In the 2010 film Leap Year, the main character Anna, played by Amy Adams, is the quintessential modern woman, career-focused and take charge. Toward the end of the film, Declan, her love interest, says to Anna, why don't you stop trying to control everything in the known universe? It's dinner. Have little faith that it will all work out. To which Anna replies, I've heard that one before. She then launches into the reason why she has to take control of everything. Because growing up, her father couldn't hold a job, which led to constant financial instability, including her family home getting repossessed. When Declan responds to this information with genuine surprise and compassion, one detects in Anna a moment of vulnerability. Then she quickly resumes her controlling ways. Anna is the ultimate embodiment of an all-too-familiar story. What happens when a woman has the trust knocked out of her as a girl as a result of having a father on whom she couldn't depend? Just this week, Adele told Oprah in her interview that her, quote, main goal in life is to be loved, end quote, and that the reason she hasn't fully accessed what it is to be in a loving relationship with somebody, her words, is because her father, who was an alcoholic and who left the family, When a little girl can't depend on her father to both provide for the family and to be a steady, loving presence in her life, she erroneously concludes that she can never depend on any man. The problem is, is that as children, we don't have the experience or the objectivity to see that this conclusion is immature. Just because one's father couldn't be depended on doesn't mean no man can. Yet that is so often the takeaway. And then you add to this experience a culture steeped in feminism, which at its core is a war with men, and you get a perfect recipe for a nation full of women who cannot cede control. Women are no longer the kinder and gentler sex. Instead, they have their guard up, and they've become their own providers and protectors. These women think that they're warding off pain or disaster by being in charge all of the time. In fact, they're keeping lasting love at bay. Because men aren't attracted to masculine energy. What they want is the feminine. Women have a natural feminine energy that when it's used well, works wonders on men in marriage. It can reduce the most powerful man in the world to mere jellyfish. Too many women give up on love before putting this power to use. And it's just sitting there for the taking. Not using it is like flushing a million dollars down the toilet. Men literally feed off the energy you provide. So which kind are you supplying? Do you find yourself running around like a chicken with your head cut off? Do you find it impossible to relax? Do you enjoy a good argument? Do you pounce on your husband the moment he comes home with a list of things that need to get done? Do you talk too much? Do you complain a lot? Do you insist on being in charge? All of that is the opposite of feminine energy. Let's try an experiment. For the next two weeks, do everything opposite of the way you would normally do it. If you're in a relationship, when your man says something with which you disagree, say something like, that's interesting where you would normally interject your thoughts or opinions, don't. Let the silence speak for itself. It is enormously powerful. Things are actually happening in the silence. Where you would normally complain, say something positive instead. Where you would normally instruct, ask, preferably with a please or a thank you. Where you would normally say no, say yes. You get the idea. Do this for 14 days and you'll have begun a massive shift in your relationship dynamic and it can only go up from there. If you keep it up, it'll just keep getting better and better.